Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite summer salads. So stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals. So smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out. I never really got the appeal of watermelon salads. I mean, they're cool in theory, but for me, watermelon is just too sweet and too watery to work well in a savory salad. That is until a chef changed my mind a few weeks ago. The game changer is this. You see, watermelon lends sweetness that makes the tomato taste better, and the tomato lends a savory umami that makes the whole thing work. For my take on this salad, I like to serve this on a thick layer of creamy labne, which is a fresh yogurt-based cheese. I'll drop the link down below so you can check out the recipe. Okay, let's take a look at the other ingredients. You don't need this much watermelon, but it makes it easier to cut seedless cubes when you start with half a watermelon. Peeled tomatoes and labne are our other two ingredients for the salad. We're also gonna be using some olive oil, salt, lime juice, pink peppercorns, sea salt, and mint. Let's start by cutting the tomatoes into wedges. I've got a video showing you an easy way to peel tomatoes, so check the description later for a link to that. Homegrown tomatoes are gonna work best for this salad, but if your season is over, don't worry, you can still make this with the best tomatoes that you can find. For the watermelon, I'm gonna start by cutting off a slice that's about an inch and a half thick. Depending on the size of your watermelon, this can be a bit of a challenge and it's not absolutely necessary to get perfect cubes. This is still gonna taste amazing with triangular watermelons, melon balls, or even star-shaped ones. Now I'm just gonna trim away the four sides to get a nice square out of the center. Then just cut it into cubes. We only need about half this amount, so try and pick the ones without any seeds, and you can snack on the rest. For the pink peppercorn, I'm just gonna crush them up using a mortar and pestle. If you don't have one, you can pound them with a rolling pin or even chop them up with a knife. The dressing is just salt, fresh lime juice, and olive oil, and I'm gonna whisk these together until the mixture is emulsified. Then you wanna just go ahead and drizzle this over the watermelon and tomatoes. You wanna let this sit for a few minutes, which will give the marinade some time to soak in while allowing some of the excess water to drain out of the fruit. This is labne. It's an easy, fresh cheese you can make at home, so check out the link in the description below for a video on how to make it. I'm just gonna spread this on the plate, and then I'm gonna start arranging the marinated tomatoes and watermelon on top. I kind of suck at plating, so use your imagination here and plate it however you like. Now let's get some mint on there. I have a massive mint bush overtaking my veranda right now, so I'm gonna use the baby leaves, but if your mint is more mature, just chop it up. Okay, let's get some of that pink peppercorn on here. This not only adds a splash of color, it gives the salad a wonderfully fragrant kick. Let's finish this off with some sea salt. I'm using some fleur de sel today, but any flaky, semi-coarse sea salt will work. And that's all there is to it. Easy, right? The watermelon brings texture and sweetness. The tomatoes pack in the umami. The mint makes the flavor of the watermelon pop. The pepper complements the mint and the creamy labne brings everything together. It's worth noting that the original version of this salad made by my friend Stefan from 375 Fried Chicken used feta instead of labne, which is also delicious. Tomatoes and watermelon are a match made in heaven, and I honestly can't get enough of this salad. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by giving this a big thumbs up and how about sharing this video with a friend that loves a good salad? As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss my next episode.
Well, I'm gonna go crack open a good bottle of rosé and enjoy this salad, but I'll catch you in the next one. Check us out on Instagram at no recipes. Well, I'm gonna go crack open, well, I'm gonna go crack. <laughs>